On this coin, with an effigy of King Kanishka, the flames on his shoulder evoke an intermingling between the dynastic cult and the cult of fire. La représentation du Bouddha en majesté comme ça est, 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 est important parce que les souverains couchants eux-mêmes ont les flammes sur leurs épaules. Kanishka s'est présenté comme, comme une divinité où Bouddha est représenté à la manière de présentation royale. Voilà. Il y, 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 y a une complicité entre l'art monastique et l'art de pouvoir. The historian Edward Rutvalazzi confirmed that Kushan sovereigns used Buddhism to extend their influence. Kanishka взял буддизм на, как сказать, на укрепление своего государственного строя. И одна из причин того, что его покровительство конечки этого буддизма и проникновение суда его, это то, что в это время буддизм начинает очень активно проводить так называемую миссионерскую деятельность. The Kushans owed their prosperity to the development of commercial links with the Roman Empire. They controlled the Silk Road from the Indus to Peshawar, their capital. From Peshawar, caravans provided a link through the Dernshan Mountains to the Chinese outposts before reaching the distant Xi'an, the capital of the Middle Kingdom. This vault at the Lahore Museum protects coins. An examination sheds light on the political approach taken by the Kanishka sovereigns. Coins were minted in their effigy and were remodeled from golden Roman coins and preserved the original weight. By circulating these coins, they controlled the commercial exchanges with the Mediterranean. دوسری وجہ یہ تھی کہ کنش کا بہت زیادہ لبرل حکمران تھا مذہبی تنگ نظری کا شکار نہیں تھا یہی وجہ ہے کہ وہ جہاں جہاں بھی گیا ہے اس نے وہاں کے گاڈ گاڈسٹ کو اپنے سکوں میں اپنے انداز سے ڈپکٹ کیا ہے اس نے یہ مذہبی تنگ نظری کا ثبوت نہیں دیا وہ جہاں جہاں بھی گیا ان کے مذہبی خیالات کو اپنایا یہی وجہ ہے کہ اس کو فتوحات کرنے میں بہت آسانی ہوئی اور اس کی سلطنت دن بہ دن وسیع ہوتی گئی The political intelligence of the Kanishka kings is also demonstrated by these coins. The reverse reveals each of the numerous gods venerated by the many people of the Kushan Empire. Shiva, venerated by Hindus. Maitra, the sun god of the Iranian people, and Anamos, the Greek god of wind and air. During the four centuries of peace imposed by the Kushan Empire, Buddhism underwent an expansion that would turn it into one of the leading world religions. Dalvazen Tepe, formerly known as Tamez, was one of the main towns in Bactria on the northern bank of the Amu Daya, at the border of Uzbekistan and Afghanistan. In ancient times, it was the main crossing point on the Oxus between Bactria and Samarkand. <laughs> Don't worry, 
In its ruins, Russian archaeologists discovered large quantities of jewels in the Kushan houses and tombs. The gold ingots, bracelets and necklaces with which the Kushan were buried. The Uzbek archaeologist, Bahadir Turgenov, paid special attention to the coins found in the tombs. Their presence can be explained by the Greek custom of placing a coin in the mouth of the deceased. This tradition may explain the attitude of Kushans towards death. Они считали, что если класть в рот эту монету, значит ему обеспечена потусторонняя райская жизнь. И вот имея монеты и золото, драгоценности и другие предметы быта, которые его сопровождают в могиле, вот это ему дает такое, значит, хорошее, ему обеспечивает на том, на том свете хорошей жизни. A Buddhist sutra, translated into Chinese, quoted a Kushan converted to Buddhism. There is no meaning in taking treasures to live after death, and further, to release oneself from death, it is better to practice the six virtues during one's life. The fear of death led the Kushan believers to make donations. Many depictions of these donors have been found near the sanctuaries in Gandhara. Alors, à Ada, d'une façon générale, on découvre beaucoup de stupas qui sont ornés d'images. À chaque panneau, il y a deux trois ou quatre personnes. Ce sont des donateurs couchants. Un exemple, vous voyez, euh, de part et d'autre d'un Bouddha, on voit un couple. Le monsieur, les mains jointes, tient dans la main des pétales peut-être de, de fleurs. La femme ou la sœur de ce monsieur qui, elle, tient à, apporte l'argent. Ça veut dire que la femme, dans les représentations Kushan dans, dans, dans les monastères apporte plus de présents que les, les, les messieurs. Ici, une autre famille ou le reste de la même famille avec euh, un, une jeune fille et un petit euh, prince couchant. Ici, un moine et là, un autre couple. Obtaining happiness after death was a constant source of concern for the Kushans. This is what is written in a text on a parchment found recently in Gandhara. We wish for the happiness of our father, our mother, and all the members of our family, in this life as well as the afterlife. Although Buddhism does not demand any donations, the Kushans believed that their happiness after death depended upon such offerings. In this, they remain true to their ancestral traditions. Next to the ruined stupas of Ranagat, the archaeologists discovered notched stone blocks 